My home office is coming together and I was able to get two TVs on the wall. These TVs will each be wired for internet using ethernet and I'll be using an HDMI over ethernet connection to each of these TVs so that they can function as independent monitors in addition to the ones that I have on my desk. This is mostly for work related purposes. Finally, I'll use a USB to ethernet adapter so that I can hardwire a webcam on top of one of these TVs. That way I can do dual monitor support for web calls like Zoom and WebEx. Now these TVs came with this candy bar style remote and that's because they're Samsung 7 series TVs. Now I went with this model TV for the office because they're primarily gonna be used as computer monitors and I didn't want to invest too much in case they ever burn in. Now, the problem with this remote is that because it's infrared, if I press the power button, or any button for that matter, both TVs do the same thing at the same time. And this becomes a problem, especially if I wanna change the source, the input, or if I'm using one of the TVs just to watch TV. Now, because these are lower end TV models, the issue is that they don't have built in Bluetooth support for the Samsung smart remotes and they certainly don't have the voice control feature or voice recognition built in. Or do they? There's actually a way to enable this, and that's what I'm gonna show you today. I'm Kevin. I'm a techie, a do-it-yourselfer, and a first-time homeowner. Join me on this journey while I make it my own. This is what's called the candy bar remote, and it's pretty basic. I mean, it's got a lot of buttons, but it's not like the smart remotes I'm used to, especially with Samsung TVs. So I ordered this. This is a Samsung smart remote. And basically what you do is you open the back and pop in fresh batteries. These are just some AA batteries. And you snap the back back on. Now this is probably a knockoff version, but it doesn't matter because really what I'm looking for is Bluetooth support so that I can control each TV, the one on the left and the one on the right, independently without blasting one signal and having both TVs do the same thing. So now that I've got batteries in here, I'm going to walk you through how we access the secret menu on the Samsung TV so that I can activate voice control and also the Bluetooth feature so that I can pair up this remote to the TV. Okay, step one, I need to go unplug one of those TVs on the wall because everything I do on this remote is gonna happen on both of those television sets. I unplugged the TV on the right-hand side, so I'm gonna be syncing up the Bluetooth remote to the TV on the left. Basically, with this candy bar remote, the sequence of buttons to press is mute, one, eight, two, then power. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Basically, I'm going to go to these different menus. I'm going to start with option. There's some options here. I'm going to go to MRT option. And you got to be very careful here because you could seriously screw up your TV with this. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to find Bluetooth support. That's on. There's a Bluetooth address. This is important because you have to have Bluetooth support in order for this to work. And then what I'm going to be searching for is voice recognition. I'm gonna turn this to on. That's important. I'm gonna return. So now I'll be able to use the voice recognition feature on, uh, on the remote. And then the next thing I need to do is find Samsung Smart Control. So let's see if I can find that somewhere in this menu. So I'm scrolling down to find Bluetooth Smart Control. Here you can see that the profile for Samsung Bluetooth Smart Control is false. So I'm going to change this value to true. And so now it says Bluetooth profile for Bluetooth Smart Control is true. And I already turned on the option for voice control. And so I think I'm done here. So now I'm going to back out of this menu and I'm just gonna turn off the TV. Now I'm just gonna turn the TV back on. 
Now to pair the remote, you press and hold the back and the play pause button at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. I'm pressing and holding these two buttons. And let's see if anything pops up on the TV. Okay, so here at the top it says it's connecting to the Samsung Smart Remote. It's doing its thing. Pairing is now complete. The battery says it's full. And now with this remote, I should be able to use the volume <laughs> and it's working. I should be able to press the home button and that's fine. Just got to uh, accept the terms and conditions for the voice recognition service because that's not something I did before. So now I'm just going to say that I agree. Don't have much of a choice there. I'm going to press OK. And now I'm going to test this by going to YouTube, for example, assuming that I have it on this TV. And I'm going to hit this icon here that says voice. And now I'm going to hold down this voice button and I'm going to talk to the TV and see if it actually picks up my voice. Car videos. All right, look, it worked. And what's so impressive is that that feature is usually not available on this model of a Samsung TV. This remote I paid 30 bucks for on Amazon. Uh, it's probably not genuine, but it looks genuine, it feels genuine, and so far it's working just fine. The smart remote, this remote control, uh, comes with higher end Samsung TVs like the Q90T that I have in my living room or the 8 series that I have in the master bedroom. These are 7 series TVs. Uh, so this solves my problem. Now all I need to do is order another one of these and, uh, and sync it to the next TV, the one right next to it, and I'm good. I've got voice control, I've got shortcut buttons, and I've got the smart control that I'm used to. So no more candy bar. Uh, I'm back in business.